Sock Cleveland Sports. This is Sean, Tank, Lowe, and Jameson. So guys, biggest comeback. Yes, it was. Tennessee oh, yes. Titans. Yes, it was, baby. Yes. Believe it. Believe yes. it. What are your Love thoughts it. about the game? Well, for me, um, I just think they could have came out a little stronger um, with more firepower to them. They let Kenny, uh, Kendall Wright run a uh, catch all over him today, uh, yesterday, and um, it just looked bad until Jake Lockler went out. Um, I can't complain with the game. Because, like I said, a gritty win is a win nonetheless. Yes, it is. Yes, and it they is. got it. Regardless of what anybody may say, it's not a high-caliber team or <laughs> they're not that good. It doesn't matter. Still. They're Just still like professionals. And at the end of the day, we got the win, and that's all that matters. Yes, it does. I think it was definitely a good game. It just proves that I think we're a second-half team and not a first-half team. So I'm hoping next week we can bring the we can bring our second half attention to the first half, and then maybe we'll be good. Hey, if we can do what we did against the Titans, man. I would love to be a second half team. Yeah, <laughs> 20, I don't mind it. I what, just 25 want to points. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I'm just happy they finished, um, and we got the win. Um, big win. Um, even though, you know, the Titans were not not as good as the team that oh, yeah. expect them to be. But, yeah. Um, well, let's go into individual players. Who do you think stepped up? In the game. Oh, uh, well, not so as much stepped up, but came back. Uh, ben Tate. Yeah. He yeah. came back he, and he I tore mean, the field apart. Really he had like 120 it. plus yards. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he had a touchdown or not, but um, this, he also brought the um, the level from Terrence West, Isaiah Crowell. Right. We, we need also, more Crow. Yeah. <laughs> we need more Crow. We, yeah, we do. I, I'm really starting to actually. I, I know. I. I'll even admit it, I've been sleeping on Kruger. He's really been astounding. Yes, he yeah, has. He really yes, has. He has. And that, that big hit that he had, had on, on Whitehorse, what it was a second in like four or something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that man, was that was like the ice on the game. cake for me. That was yep. a game. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even complain. I couldn't have a better win to get. We had, yeah, we had people stepping up. Like like you said, Kruger stepped up in the crucial time. Travis Benjamin yeah. oh, oh, I messed I around and messed those two fumbles up, but yeah. when it counted, he yeah. got the touchdown to help us win the game. That's how about one of the, the sleepers, Armati Brown? Oh, my yes. kid needs yeah. to get on the field more. He's a pass rusher. He can stop the run. First sack of the seat of his career. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> my goodness. Man, you see that 4 4 speed he had? He's like, <laughs> pew! Like, <"Damn." laughs> <laughs> Did he just sack him? And he was a seventh round pick, so I mean, what we're getting in him is even extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go into the defensive side of the ball, just specifically on the defense. What are the areas you think we need to improve? What do you do areas you think that we shine at? This would be fun. Both our cornerbacks. Yeah. Both our cornerbacks. <laughs> you picked the easiest one all of them. Come on, man. Over 100 yards receiving on up. A uh, receiver on the opposite team all four games this I'm year. I'm going to say this about – We haven't um, been able to stop anybody. I think, um, you know, like I said it before, I feel like, you know, with Joe Hayden, um, I feel like he's a great – a good overall corner. But, like, you know, just meshing in, if we put him in, like, cover two, cover three, mm. and man on oh man. But I think Mike Pettin's system is kind of hurting him where he yeah, always has to be a man. Mm -hmm. So he's getting kind of exposed. Right. Everybody's system is not for everybody. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what people need to realize too. He can still be a potent corner that he is. It's just he's you got some corners that just don't play man. You got some corners that play better in cloud or certain types of mm. coverages. Right, uh, right. What have you. Mm. You gotta understand, you gotta know what your corner specialty is, you gotta feed off that, and you gotta uh Put him within that situation in order for him to become a great corner. And but great corners should be able to play everything, though. Well, let yeah, me tell you true. what's been bothering me the most. This is the defensive line, guys. Why won't Peyton move Phil Taylor to the zero technique and move him back to the you know moving back to the five technique? Because if you remember last year in the defense, Ray Horton, he was more effective there because yes, Taylor he right now he, he can't handle, he can't contain, he can't handle the outside guys. Yeah, everybody's it's, just it's blowing him up. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. They're blowing him up. Um, I'd like to see a Tuba Rubin play a lot more and oh, John Hughes from Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah, that's true. Reason. He was always hurt over there in college as well. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I feel like we need the defense as well. We need to come out and play like how we play in that second quarter. Play with more passion. And just, I agree. You know. Play more sound defense. Mm -hmm. you know, just and the tackling. Yeah. Guys, you have to learn how to tackle. 
No, oh, oh, man, our tackling is atrocious out there. I mean, these one arm tackles are just ridiculous. And then, not only that, you get to the quarterback and you should you should put your hands on them so yeah. someone else can come up. But exactly. they're slipping away and getting out free and throwing exactly. the ball three, four hundred yards downfield. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, Jake Lock is a great quarterback, but come on, man, he's not, you know, he's not elite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I know a lot of people were um, are still concerned about. The game, us beating just it's Tennessee. We coming off a bye week, looking flat. Um, I know a lot of the fans are concerned. What is your take on that? Um, us playing on a week to week it, stasis. It just it, to me, it just didn't seem like they practiced or anything. It's, it seemed like they took the bye week and they just all went and hung out and did no, absolutely <laughs> nothing. Probably exactly. watched some football. Kicked exactly. Because I know I saw Johnny Menzel. I mean, I know he doesn't really play too much, but I saw him. Here he was go. at the he's Texas A&M game. He's a fried individual. <laughs> he didn't go to Vegas this time. He was actually downtown. He's, he's a fried individual, man. I think um, on West Six, man. with some of the concerns, like I know fans get concerned. A lot, but you know, you got to remember they're playing the best in the world, so you know, right. a win is a win, and um, you know, sometimes you're gonna have them games where where you're just gonna come out a little flat, but as long as you come out and get and, and you play enough, not just enough, just to win. I know people want to see them play better, but if you get the win and keep going forward and progressing the that's season, that I think that's the best. It's all about and and another thing, I didn't. Oh, I mean, how could you possibly complain? Them? Regardless of what anybody may say, contrary to belief, yeah, they didn't look that good. But uh, coming back from three to twenty-eight and winning the game, yeah. I will. Be, I will believe that's impressive in itself enough. Oh. It is. But uh, another thing NFL, that I, the thing that I didn't like was the NFL having bye weeks. After three games, that's too early. They, they need to keep it like back at what they used to have. Right. First six. bye week was at week six. Right. And then on top of that, they had six teams out, um, out last week on yeah. bye weeks. It did, and the mess best teams, the teams you want to see. Right. It messes up the flow. and <laughs> It really does. Because mm -hmm. what if someone gets hurt and now our bye week is gone. So right. you just got to fight through it. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's move in towards the next game. Our rivals. Mm, mm, mm. The Let's dirty Pittsburgh. The team in the NBA. They're coming home to Cleveland. Let's get uh, Hey, man. Picks. I'll say P Bird. I'm not going to say nothing else. P Bird. That's all um, that picks. With that, I think. Uh, Pittsburgh is looking horrible. I'm going to go ahead and flat out say it. The only thing they really have going for them is Le'Veon Bell might have a breakout game. I mean, he's been doing okay this year so far. I do. This but, bad, uh, and as well as their rookie, uh, Marcus Wheaton, he's doing pretty good. He torched us last game. He did. I, but, um... We're coming. We're coming with some fire this week. I don't. I, I I understand where you're coming from with that. I have to. I have to politely disagree, because like I said, they did do what they did last time, mm -hmm. but they still barely got the job done. Barely. They so did. then they did. You yeah. got to understand. You coming in the week, them knowing what they did wrong. Not only that, they're going to get the coverage together. They're going right. to know what to do. They're going to know, set up certain packages, just like they did with Tennessee. And lo and behold, they're going to get a win. I believe oh, yeah. it's going to be. 28-14. Well, I believe, you know, feeding off of what he said, I think we're going to get a heavy dose of Le'Veon Bell because our rush defense is, has not been that good, no, obviously, um, as well as our other defense. But I think if we stop him, if Joe Hayden can finally wake up, wake up and play to his contract and stop Antonio Brown, he I think can. we'll have a chance. He can. Like he said, really it, it, it's the it's a, it's a packaging. You know, I mean... He can, and he will. I, I believe he, that he can. He needs to get started. I mean, yeah, you say you're the best corner in the league. Let's go, man. Who's it's your time pick? to step up. Who's your pick, Jameson? What is, My pick is the Browns by one touchdown, but I think it's going to be a defensive battle. Okay. I really okay. do. I can by agree. One touchdown. I can agree. Did you give your pick? Um, like I said, when, you know, um, uh, Pittsburgh losing – to an 0 and 14 with Tampa Bay, and then they, then this <laughs> past week they're losing, a, a, almost losing to Jacksonville. They had a fight to come back in that game. I think the Browns could get them by at least two touchdowns. Yeah. I think we'll have at least between 26 and 30 points again. We've been, We've been averaging about been average, that. So, hey, so don't go to sleep on them in the first half if they're down. <laughs> and you know, with Believe me, I, I just feel the Browns to just need to keep coming into that game with momentum. How we played in the second half. And I think we will do that. So I'm picking the Browns, but to win by at least three points. No. Um, maybe about a 26 to um, 
23 battle. So, you know, that's my that's my picture. You putting emphasis yeah. on Billy Cundiff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust Cundiff. Yeah. yeah. I don't trust Billy. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I wouldn't. Hey, Billy's been pretty good for us this yeah. year, man. Ass. He's helped me out with my fantasy. Actually. Ass. <laughs> I'd rather have Prater. Yeah. He's out there. Prater's yeah. out there. Yeah. But, all right, guys. Well, this does it for um, Inside Cleveland oh, Sports. Right. You know, this is Sean Tank Lowe and Jameson signing off.